What's up fellow bookworms and welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Dylan and I have a very exciting weekly-ish update to share with you guys today. So let's just get right into it with some pretty exciting channel news. So the first thing I want to mention is that this little channel has just surpassed 6,000 subscribers, which is absolutely insane to me. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you who have subscribed, who take time out of your day to watch these videos, to comment, to like them, to maybe even share them. It really means the world, and I'm so grateful. Now, obviously, it's not all about the numbers. What I really value and what I really appreciate about this channel is that it allows me to connect with you guys and just share my love of reading with you and get to hear about all the great books that you're reading and all the great recommendations that you might have and to get your input and just to get to talk to you guys about the books that I'm reading, the books that you're reading, books we're excited about, all the fun stuff that we get to do. And so I'm just so grateful for this little community. It's been amazing. And that leads me to the second thing I want to mention, and that is that this channel is officially one year old. I have something semi-special-ish planned as like a one-year celebration that's probably going to go up on the channel next week or so, uh, hopefully next week. Any later than that, it'd be kind of weird. Uh, but I think my first video that I uploaded here on this channel was on April 17th or April 19th of 2022. And it was actually, funny enough, a completely random review for this microphone. I bought this microphone knowing that I was going to be doing a channel about books. But when I got it, I was like, you know what? It's content. It'd be a good practice of recording and editing a video. So I'm just going to do a review for this microphone. I've left it up on the channel just because why not? But <laughs> it's super random and has nothing to do with anything and it's not good at all. But it is the first video that I uploaded to this channel. Second video I uploaded was a classics video, which also wasn't good, but uh, it is at least book related. And since then, I've uploaded a couple hundred videos, I think, close to it, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. None of them probably have been very good, but all of them have been so much fun. And if you were there near the beginning, uh, I appreciate you sticking with me through <laughs> through those videos and for being here. But it's just been so much fun. But speaking of booktube channels that are about a year old on Monday, April 24th at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm going to have the great privilege of chatting with Theo over at Rekindled Reader. If you aren't subscribed to his channel, you're truly missing out. It's become one of my favorites here on YouTube. I'm going to link him in the description below so you can check out his channel. But we're going to be chatting about books, booktube, about... I guess anything and everything that comes up during the conversation and I'm so excited for it. So make sure that you're subscribed to his channel so that you can tune in when we go live. It'll be on his channel on April 24th. Again, that's this Monday, just a couple days from now. So I would love it if you could tune in. It's going to be a ton of fun. All of his fireside chat live streams are a ton of fun and I'm just super excited to get the opportunity to hang out with Theo for a while, hopefully hang out with some of you guys for a while, and just have a good time talking about all things books. So if you can, if you're available Monday, make sure you tune in for that. It's going to be a really great time. And the last thing I want to mention is that the genre for May's Bookworm Book Club has been chosen. My patrons voted, and they chose fantasy for the month of May. So we are going to be nominating fantasy books. We'll spin the spin mini wheel that will determine our fate and then we will read whatever book is chosen by the wheel as our book club pick in the month of May and if you want to get in on the fun if you want to nominate a fantasy book for book club it's not at all too late I'll have the link for my patreon in the description below now moving on to the section of this video where we talk about the books that I have read in the very recent past or books that I'm currently reading and for once I actually have quite a few to mention here so one goes way back. I forgot to mention it in like my last weekly update or maybe even the last two. And that is 112263 by Stephen King. I did finish that book 
like a month ago at this point, but I don't remember ever mentioning it here on the channel. Uh, I absolutely loved that book. It was very different from any other Stephen King that I've read to this point, though I'll be the first to admit uh, I have not read that many of his books so far, five or six probably at this point, maybe a little bit more than that, maybe a little bit less than that, but I really loved it. I rated it five stars on Goodreads and had a ton of fun with it. It was a little bit long, but definitely worthwhile, and I just I just liked the book a lot. It was a good book. Uh, time travel, mysterious portal, saving the president, love interest. I don't know what this is actually, but lots of stuff in that one. And then I'm also currently reading Home Before Dark by Riley Sager. Uh, these books are in no particular order, by the way, but I am about 75% of the way through that one and am really enjoying it so far. It's It's been kind of stereotypical haunted house, but just like unique enough to be unique, I guess. Uh, but it's written really well. It's interesting. It is spooky. Not like crazy spooky, but a little spooky. And I'm pretty excited to see how it ends. I also recently finished uh, Jade War by Fonda Lee, which is the second book in the Greenbone trilogy saga, I guess, and really loved it. I thought it was better than book one and book one was great. Book two definitely stepped it up in terms of intensity and absolute mind blowingness. And I just had a ton of fun with it. And I am technically reading book three, but so far, I'm on like chapter four, so I'm not far into it at all, but I have started it. I am planning to finish it ASAP, but I am also reading a few other books right now, so probably won't be anytime super soon. And speaking of series that I've been reading for quite a while now, I just finished The Half-Blood Prince a few days ago, maybe a week ago or so. I don't know. Time flies so fast, but not that long ago, and I'm about halfway through with the Deathly Hollows. I almost forgot what the book was called. Deathly Hollows. And it's been pretty good so far. I am a little bit sad that it's the last book. And I'm also a little bit skeptical because a lot of people said it's their least favorite. I don't know if that's just because it's the end of an amazing series or if it really isn't that good. I'm not sure. But uh, so far, I like it. First 50% is fine. Uh, it is weird not taking place at Hogwarts, but it's been good. Uh, but you can expect a full video on that book once I finish it, probably in a few days. But it definitely feels bittersweet to be reading the last book in the series. I'm also still continuing on with On Writing by Stephen King, which has been, I think I said before on the channel, one of the best books I've ever read, but I'm not quite finished. I've got probably about 50 pages left or so, 100 at the most, just kind of savoring it. And I've also been busy with other books, but really excited to finish that one up. But I'm in no rush. I'm just, like I said, kind of just savoring it, enjoying it. And I can definitely see that one being a book that I reread at some point in the future. And I'm not usually one to reread a book. I also finished Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb, which was April's Bookworm Book Club pick and absolutely loved it. I didn't really know what I expected. I know that Assassin's Apprentice and really uh, the Farseer trilogy and the Realm of the Elderlings saga, all 16 books, are just beloved by so many people. They're like classics that aren't that old. I think the first one was in like uh, 95 is when it came out. So kind of old, but not super old, but just such a beloved saga series that's I'm just so excited to be starting. Definitely a little bit late to the party, but better late than never. Book one was amazing. I've already got book two, but I'm going to talk more about that in just a second. And I can definitely see myself eventually <laughs> trying to make my way through all 16, I believe, books in this world that Robin Hobb has created. So if you haven't read Assassin's Apprentice, I cannot recommend it more, more highly. Uh, I cannot recommend it highly enough. I don't know what the saying is off the top. I, I can't remember, but so good. I would highly recommend it. It was probably the best book I've read so far this year. I also listened to the book We Are the Light by Matthew Quick with my wife on audio not that long ago, just a couple days ago, I think we finished it. And it was one of those books that was good, but not good at the same time. I really appreciated what the story was trying to do. I really appreciated the emotional element of the story and the ending was sort of like a twist ending kind of 
But ultimately, it was more weird than good. I thought the main character was just hard to figure out. Uh, I just had a lot of questions about him that weren't really answered along the way. And the writing style was... I mean, the prose was good, but the style was like each chapter is a letter that our main character is writing, which I thought was unique. I thought it was a really good way to tell a story, but it also left a lot to be desired, I felt like. So all in all, I think I rated it three stars. I don't regret listening to it, but it just really wasn't for me. It was a contemporary fiction is probably the best way to uh, categorize that book, which is not a genre that I read a lot. And I guess this book kind of reminded me why, but I don't know. If you read it, let me know in the comments below what you thought. It was a book of the month book, um, I think last year, end of last year, early this year, something like that. But let me know in the comments below if you've read that one and what you thought of it. Maybe I missed something, but it was pretty average, I thought. And then the last book that I want to mention on this list is one that I started yesterday or the day before on audio, also with my wife while we are doing some work here in the office, was Supermarket, which has been pretty good so far. So I know the author is uh, a rapper, I guess. Logic is the author. I'm not familiar really with his music or anything like that, but I've heard of him and I was a little bit skeptical because it's hard to cross over, you know? If you're really good at one thing, then usually... You know, you only have a person can only have so much talent, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. But so far, it's been pretty good. You can tell it's like a debut, not super polished, but pretty good so far for what it is. I think we're about a third of the way through it and it's not bad. It's like a thriller. Nothing really thrillery has happened yet. We're still in the build up stages of it, but uh, it's coming. I can tell and it's it's getting pretty good. So I'm excited to see how it wraps up. But those are all the books that I have read or am currently reading since the last weekly update video. Now, moving on to the next section of this video, what books do I want to read? Well, I want to finish the books that I'm currently reading right now, which is a few. Um, Jade Legacy I need to finish up, Harry Potter I need to finish up, On Writing I need to finish up, all the books I just mentioned I need to finish. So this list is going to be relatively short since I'm already reading so many books, but I do want to read Carrie by Stephen King. I kind of am tempted to try to read Salem's Lot as well because the movie is coming out I think at the end of this month. But I don't know. I kind of want to start all the way back with Carrie. I always hear that's where you should start with Stephen King. And I've read quite a few of his books already, but not so many that it's too late to go back to Carrie. So I kind of want to do that. And I think I will. And then immediately read Salem's Lot after that. I also really want to read Lord of the Rings, like really bad. But it's such a long book and I'm already reading so much. But I am going to try to prioritize it and at least start it in the next week or two. Uh, hopefully sometime before my next weekly update. Won't read it before then, I'm sure, but I want to at least start it. I have just put that book off for way too long. And then I also want to try to begin the second book in the Farseer trilogy, the follow-up to Assassin's Prentice, uh, Apprentice, which is Royal Assassin, which just came in the mail today. And I also was able to score this super sweet illustrated edition. It matches the first one that I have. This one is significantly longer than the other one, like 200 pages longer. It doesn't look that much bigger, but 200 extra pages in this one. But I'm, like I said, so excited for this series. I absolutely love the book, just like the the paper, the pages, the illustrations, everything about it. But I also really, really love the story. So those are the three that I'm going to mention in this video. I might not read them. I might read something else, but I'm going to try to stick to those. But I do want to share a couple books with you guys. Just a little impromptu book haul video since I just uploaded one last week. It's going to be a while before I do another one. But I did buy like five or six books since then that I want to quickly share with you guys. The first one's a manga. It's the first in the Spy Family series. I actually have the first two. My wife bought the second one because she read this one in like a day and I absolutely loved it. But I don't know where it's at. I think it's in her purse or something. So I can only find the first one. But super excited for this. I have not read a manga really in my life. I read the first half of the first Dragon Ball. But that is it. So I'm excited to start this. Uh, but we'll talk more about that a little bit later in the video, hopefully. And then this came today as well. It is The Shadow of What Was Lost, which is the first in a trilogy that I really don't know a ton about. But I love the covers. I've seen this book all over the place. So I'm excited to read it. Uh, I like the cover. I don't know if I just said that. Did I just say that? But I do, <laughs> I do like the cover a lot. It's really cool. And I don't know. I just love a big 
chunky paperback. So I'm excited for this. It's obviously a fantasy, uh, very comparable to the Wheel of Time, apparently. That's what I keep hearing, but I've not read Wheel of Time, so... I cannot confirm or deny that comparison. I also was at my local Barnes & Noble a couple days ago, and the third book in the Mistborn series, Saga, I guess, was buy one, get one half off. Do I own the first one physically or the second one physically? No, but now I own the third one, so that is at least progress. <laughs> I'll have to pick up the first two uh, in this edition at some point. I have... At least the first one on Kindle. I'm not sure about the second one. And then I have the first three in mass market paperback over on my shelf. That was a rookie move, buying mass market paperbacks. I regret that. And then the second half of my buy one, get one half off purchase was this book, The Outsider by Stephen King, which I don't know a ton about. I know it's kind of like... Uh, more like mystery detective type story, but still with a monster. I think my wife listened to this like last year and absolutely hated it. She's not a big Stephen King fan, though, so I don't know how to judge her opinion, you know? I think her review is just untrustworthy, to say the least, but um, I am excited for it. I don't know a lot about it. I don't really hear a lot of rave reviews about it, but the cover's cool, and it was half off, I guess, or maybe Mistborn was half off. I don't know which was actually half off, but... I got it on a sale. But our little impromptu book haul being over uh, on the channel since the last weekly update has not been that much content, really. Two Harry Potter videos and one book haul video, all of which were a lot of fun. Uh, the book haul video has done relatively okay for the channel. It, it, yeah, it did okay. It was really fun to show off all the books that I bought since my last book haul video, and I really appreciated the comments on that video. Uh, it's always just great hearing you guys' opinions on books. And then my Harry Potter videos always get a lot of comments because um, people are fiercely loyal <laughs> to the Harry Potter series, which I understand. But obviously, you know, those videos are like part review, part reaction. And in any good review, you've got to throw out, you know, some semblance of a criticism because, you know, what good is a review where you just say, yeah, I was good. I liked it. So anytime I mention like any, <laughs> any small like complaint or thing that I didn't like or didn't make sense to me, I get a lot of comments, which I appreciate. I appreciate people taking the time to clarify things for me or try to explain things to me or show me why maybe I was wrong about something. So it's always fun doing those videos and it's always fun seeing how you guys react to them and your thoughts on those. So it's always just a really good time. And then lastly, next week on the channel, I've got a couple things planned. And by next week, I mean next week and then also probably the week after that. Uh, I am going to be doing a one year celebration type video. What exactly that will be, I don't know for sure yet, but I think it'll be fun either way. So make sure you tune in for that if you can and if you want to. It'd be, it'd be a lot of fun. I also have a book news video already recorded and ready to edit. In fact, that video was supposed to be this video but I wanted to do this one first, so that video will probably come out tomorrow, depending on how quickly I can edit it after I edit this video. And then I'm going to do the ever-promised manga video that I've been talking about since basically I began this channel. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it this week, I'm gonna force myself to do it, and that video will be up probably two weeks from now. So look forward to that one. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm a little bit nervous, having really no experience with manga, but it'll be fun either way. And then the last thing I wanna mention is that I am going to try to do a Kindle Unlimited's recommendation video. I put recommendation in air quotes because I won't have read every book I mentioned, but that one also has been promised for a couple weeks now and I'm finally gonna, I'm finally gonna do that one as well. But that's it, that's the weekly-ish update. Thank you so much for tuning in, thank you so much for watching, and let me know what's going on in your life right now. What books are you reading? What books are you excited to read? Did you just get some really cool book mail? As always, Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.